The final group of Microsoft Excel documents we will create together are related to budgets and cost management. In this domain, the ultimate goal of the project manager and their organization is to have two things. A realistic budget with all related estimates and a process to track the actual spending against this budget. We are already familiar with the budgeting point from the cost planning lessons. Remember? Let's quickly repeat these steps. 1. Identify the cost generating activities of your project by going through the activity list. 2. Estimate the financial expenses for the identified activities. 3. Add buffers to the estimates wherever needed. And finally, 4. Determine the expected time period in which the expenses will be incurred. This sounds simple from a theoretical standpoint, but in real life projects there can be many variations and hidden steps. Costs can be different depending on the case, on the contracts and agreements. Bigger costs should be negotiated and agreed with the vendors and documented in a contract or an agreement. Smaller costs, on the other hand, may only be planned for and estimated during the planning phase, but without signing any contracts. The related expenses can be approved and made during the execution itself. Once all costs are estimated and the overall project budget is calculated and approved, the project will move on to execution. Better have your bank accounts prepared. Money starts flying out of your pocket at this very moment. Let's start creating our Excel table. We begin, as usual, with a number column. Then the expense name where the project manager will describe what the money will be spent on, the so-called cost generating activity. Next we have the budget amount. Let's now add this $96,000 to the table. We name the expense and then add the amount in the budget column. We need to properly format the financial numbers. To do that, select the cell and use the accounting number format to select a currency. In our case, dollars. If the numbers are big, you can also hide the decimals using the decrease decimals function. Finally, we add a column for actual, where the project manager will be adding all actual costs incurred. Whenever payments are done from the project budget, they have to be registered in this column. We apply the same formatting as we have financial numbers here. I can use the format painter functionality. All right, in the same way, we can also add other cost elements in this table. For instance, another cost generating activity can be the services of an engineer who has to integrate the new production line with other existing machines on the floor. This time, however, the vendor cannot specify in advance what amount will have to be paid. They can only agree with your company about the hourly rate of the engineer and the prices of the various materials he may need to use. So how do we track this one? We'll see in the next video.